think with a purpose because if you think with a purpose you won't look at your job as just a hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i am in a different setting as you see um my father-in-law is cutting the grass down you know cutting the grass so downstairs i didn't want to be in my film room my office because you would hear everything and I just really felt like standing up for this type of video, of course. So, I wanna talk about my experience with graduate school. I know I talked about high school before. I'm not really sure if I talked to you guys about getting my bachelor's or my experience. I can do a video on that, but for now I wanted to talk about graduate school because I see a lot of people who want to go to grad school, you know, they want to further themselves, which is a great thing. I think it's an awesome thing. So I want to tell you guys just a little bit about my experience, what I did, and how you really don't have to spend a lot of years in grad school if that's not the route you are trying to take. So with me, I graduated from my bachelor's in 2014. And after I got my bachelor's, I said, you know what? I want to go to grad school. So I went to University of Baltimore for undergrad. And before I graduated, I decided, hey, I'm just gonna go to the University of Baltimore's grad program. Cool. Went to open house, wanted to see if it was right for me, and I went. But as I started grad school, I realized that it was not for me that school was not for me. One being, I was so tired of doing night classes. I did a lot of night classes in undergrad where I was working full time and I was going to school right after work and I literally just had my son, like I was pregnant with my son and then I would go to night classes because my major only had night classes. So I was away from my family literally Monday through Thursday with my classes because when you have forensics, it was like those classes were literally spread out literally on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I was taking like five classes so I can stay on track of finishing undergrad. So I made the decision, I don't wanna do that for grad school. I'm tired of working full time, then gotta go to school and be away from my, my kid I'm, and my husband and I'm just like, I'm not doing that again. Like, no, I'm not doing it. And it, was, it wasn't worth it to me for as far as my time of missing with my son. It was like, okay, I done missed, you know, a year or two, you know, with him being a baby. No, I, I'm not doing that. And not necessarily missed, but I, I missed out on moments because I was getting home around 11 o'clock some nights. Yeah, I don't even know how the hell I did it, but I did. So with grad school, I made that decision and I end up sitting in class one day and I said, you know what, this isn't for me. I think I'm just gonna withdraw. Um, and I think I did it before the point to where I owed, so I didn't owe. So I ended up doing it the right way. Um, I just withdrew from my classes and decided this wasn't for me. And then later, speaking to an associate, I found out about Liberty University and I found out that they had a fast track program. So originally, if I would have stayed at UB, it would have took me about two to three years just to get my master's. Then with Liberty, I found out they had a fast track program where I could actually get my master's in a year if I wanted to, depending on how I did my courses. So I was like, hell yeah, and it's online. So I enrolled and by the time I made this decision, I was already pregnant with my second child. So everything happens the way it's supposed to. So before I dropped out, I literally um, didn't know I was pregnant. And then like right before I think I dropped out, I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I had literally just got married. So I was like, I had my, got pregnant with my daughter. So I was like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing it. So I made that decision based around that. I do remember that part. And I started Liberty in January of 2015. So I was pregnant, I was about five months pregnant when I made this decision and the program felt right. 
Um, I did my research on Liberty. I knew about Liberty prior because my ex actually went to Liberty University. And I remember him talking about how he liked the, the campus and stuff like that. Although I didn't have to go on campus, I love the fact that I could do this online and I didn't have to worry. So my master's program is in human service counseling, crisis response and trauma. Um, I tell you guys all the time in some of my videos, like that's how I know a little bit about like mental illness, of dealing with victim advocacy. That was what I was truly passionate about. I really wanted to help victims all over. Um, that has slightly changed. I'm no longer really curious. I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm no longer curious, but I feel like I'm more passionate about investigating than I am with the counseling side because I feel like I help people from all over, from different backgrounds. It's like, it, it comes, my, class, my program was about, what, 30, I wanna say 30 credits, 10 classes, I believe. So I end up, and they're about eight weeks a piece. So I ended up doing at least one or two classes at a time. I started in January, I finished in October of the same year. And I had my daughter in May. So I just made sure I did what I had to do. I stayed focused, determined, and I was very disciplined. Like, like I always am, when I want something, I'm very disciplined and I'm determined and focused to get there. Now, the program was really great. I will say that. Um, it was a lot of writing, <laughs> so there was plenty of times where I was just like propped up at my computer typing papers, literally almost every class, every week had freaking papers due. Didn't matter what it was, I was writing the dang on paper. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I feel like you will know when a program is right for you. I felt like Liberty was right for me. I felt UB wasn't, um, even though I went for undergrad. I think it, it all depends on your lifestyle as well. A lot of us are working adults and a lot of us have children. And we don't wanna be away from our kids throughout the week. It's bad enough, we already we have to go to work and you know maintain our households and nobody wanna be tired trying to do this crap. <laughs> so I ended up finishing in October, but I didn't walk, I didn't graduate until the following May, but I did get my degree in the mail. I will say that if you are looking to go to grad school, be prepared, like I said, you will be typing a lot. And with Liberty, they incorporated a lot of biblical things into their papers, into the studies, which I didn't have a problem with because I believe in God and so it didn't affect me. Honestly, it built, it moved me closer to God and it moved me closer spiritually and just being able to put my trust and my faith and my courage and my determination into anything that I wanted and just like referencing the Bible because Growing up, I've been in and out of church throughout my entire life. You know, I was raised in church. Um, I lost my way in church. So I just kind of felt like it was so right to just being back into everything. And like, I remember my last paper, it really taught me a whole lot. The paper, it was my hardest paper. I remember getting the paper and it was like theology of love. And I was like, what in the hell is that? What am I gonna do? But then when I started to do my research, I realized how in the Bible, a lot of the people were tested in their journey and it's with life. We are constantly tested in our journey, whether it's, you know, lying, stealing, cheating, or just losing focus of what really matters when we're supposed to be doing the right thing versus the wrong thing. And it just felt right. It just felt right. I learned so much about myself throughout my graduate program, even though it was only like 10 months, it just felt right. Um, I get questions all the time. Like I remember seeing one of my family members in Walmart and they were saying like, you know, it just looked like everything was so easy. And I just want to say it was not easy. Like I had to sacrifice, you know, my time with my family, even in undergrad and even with my graduate program, you have to sacrifice because it's a lot of research that goes into these papers. Like <laughs> these teachers don't be playing around and then they send your papers through 
you know the scanning thing to make sure make sure you aren't cheating and stuff like it's a lot of stuff that went in then you have quizzes and then you have like discussion boards and stuff because you're not really in a you know a setting where you have the teacher right in front of you which i prefer i don't mind doing online because it was so much easier for my lifestyle at that moment um and i was still able to work i worked all the way up until my pregnancy until i like literally the week before i had my daughter but i feel like if you are one of those people who don't like school i don't recommend you to go to go to grad school um for one why get debt that you really don't need learn a trade there's nothing wrong with doing a trade i tell my son this and he's only seven there's nothing wrong with doing a trade you know my husband didn't go to college and he has a great job so it's just really all depending on what you want and you want for yourself you know i've literally been on this mission of trying to figure out what the hell steph wants what makes me happy you know and today i want you guys to think about three passions that you are passionate about and then under those you know like right number one passion for me number one is youtube filming you know in that category why is it my passion i'm passionate because about youtube because i can inspire motivate and uplift other individuals through my content um where do i see it going i see it becoming something so much bigger than what i think it is you know i want to one day do this full time i want to create positive content that can inspire the world so under your passion you have to write why is it important to you where do you see it going um does it make you happy you know just to kind of brainstorm your journey with that passion because if you're like me i have so many things that i'm passionate about and i don't always want to put myself into a box and that's why i love youtube because i can discuss my fitness stuff i can uplift you guys i can motivate you guys i can do anything counseling related or maybe talking about sensitive topics you know that's why I say think about three important things and kind of figure out the direction you plan to go. Even if you're in high school, because I didn't think about these things. I just went straight off the community college. I did general electives. I really never realized what I wanted. And then looking on my journey, I said, you know what? I'm really passionate about, you know, motivating people, inspiring, healing them. I'm also motivated about investigating you know talking about cases and that can kind of coordinate with one another so it gets you to brainstorming so that way you can figure out how you move and how the direction you want to go even if you're working full-time think with a purpose because if you think with a purpose you won't look at your job as just a job you'll use that job to gain the experience that you need because being a business owner is about having great customer customer service you know staying organized staying consistent you know being folk being driven focus driven you know being on top of your itch so don't think where you are at the moment is your last stop i literally just told my cousin this and i have to tell myself this where i am right now is not my last stop i have plenty more things to go i'm only 28 years old so I'm trying not to rush my life, but understanding that I'm here in this moment and then I'll be where I want to be if I stay consistent and determined and dedicated to where I'm trying to go. That's why I like, I like listening to Nipsey Hussle's dedication song because you have to stay dedicated and hustle to get anywhere you're trying to go. You know, we all start somewhere. So think about those things before you decide to go to grad school because it will be so important on your journey. Don't get in debt like me. Please don't if you realize that it is not for you. I, that is the only debt I have, thank the Lord. I do not have debt from um, undergrad because I had scholarships. I literally worked my ass off and that's why I'm kind of bummed about grad school. But don't beat yourself up if you do go to grad school and you aren't in your field. You want to know why? Because you can take everything that you learned and use it to your best ability. I always say it's sometimes best to have it than not to have it because you just never know the way the job market is going to go. And then with entrepreneurship, you just never know how that's going to go. And don't be afraid to get out here and test it. Hell, I'm on here. 
sometimes I don't I don't I don't know how you guys are gonna perceive me but guess what I don't care because in the, the day this is something that I'm passionate about and I want to inspire you guys to be the best that you can be and to do everything that you need to do to get there um, so like I said I did end up finishing grad school I have had my master's since 2015 and honestly my my last position my boss told me if you didn't have your met he said that's what stuck out to him was my master's but honestly guys think about your journey think about what you're truly passionate about even if it becomes a side hustle until you can make it your full time so i hope that you guys like this story i just want to uplift you guys motivate you and inspire you so let me know what your plans are um, I plan I also just bought a new planner and a journal because I plan to jot down and get organized I have a five-year plan that I'm trying to do and we will get there Learn to say we will I am not oh it may happen. No Speak life into everything that you want to do. So until the next video guys I hope this helped you with trying to figure out if you want to go to grad school or not And if it did, please let me know